What's going on people? This video is going to show you five editing tips and take your photography to the next level. Intro! What's going on people, welcome back. If you're new here, it's great to have you. Before we get started into the tutorial, I want you guys just to hit that subscribe button. It makes a world of difference to me and it helps me make more content for you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. This is gonna be five key tips that are gonna instantly improve your Lightroom's edits. First one's the double tap. Let me show you what to do. So, we've all been there, you've got way too engrossed in your edit and you push on these sliders just that little bit too far what you want to do is go into your edit let's just apply this quick preset and we'll take the temperature all the way down it's way too blue usually you could just do it manually a little bit by bit by bit but instead if you just double tap on the name it resets it completely so the second tip guys is the quick develop setting. This is perfect for if you want to make all your photos have the same cohesive color tone. It's not perfect and won't make them, you know, the best photos ever, but what it will do is means that all the colors are on point and they've got the same edit rather than having to copy and paste the same edit across. So if you go into your library, get your photos selected. I've just picked these four from a trip I went out with my friends. Go into quick develop, go into your save presets, and choose whatever preset it is you guys are using. This is my Autumn Winter 21. It gives me that moody little look, which I've developed myself. And then you can just go in and check them. Any little tweaks you can make, and then they'll be ready for export. Okay, tip number three is the reference view. This goes really well with tip number two. Once you've applied your edit, you can then fine tune one to that perfect, perfect color tone. I've done it a lot myself in my photos as they've all got a very sort of moody green and orange look. So we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once you've got your photo selected and you think it's perfect, this isn't quite there yet, but we'll work on it. I'm going to click this button down the bottom left hand corner, which is called the reference view. So I'll pull up a double window, click, click and drag the photo you want to use for reference. And then when you start editing, they'll have a side-by-side -side view of your reference photo and your active photo. So you can compare them and make sure that the tone works. Now tip number four is the Alt key. This is a magical, magical tool. And what this enables you to do is enables you to access a ton of hidden features that are in Lightrooms. I mainly use it for my masking as it gets those little details out. So if we go down into detail, and this will open up, the sharpening section now i tend to edit my sharpness up to around 50 just to give it a little more sort of sharpness but this is where the alt key comes in handy press alt see how everything changes you can reset or if you work on one of your sections on one of your sliders it will show you exactly where it is that's being masked and what's in view about there for all the little details. This works across pretty much all of the tools, whether it's into your sort of textures and your clarities or your exposure and contrast. And finally, tip number five. This is an absolute godsend. It's the auto mask. What auto mask is, is when you're doing a local adjustment, you can get Lightrooms to very cleverly finally trace the lines that you're trying to do I'll show you how to do it. So firstly, you want to get a Firstly, you want to pull up the adjustment brush. So let's open this one on the road. Select your adjustment brush and this is where you set it to auto mask. It's just down here. Usually it'll be unticked. If it's not, tick it. You want to set your brush size to, to whatever you want and your feather to zero. Set a color just so you know what it's going to be. So I'm going to bring this 
So if I want to just edit this road here, all I do, brush, and it'll finally select the actual road without any sort of spillover. So you see here, it's really, really precise. Without any sort of mess or overspill. Right, that's it guys. That's my five quick tips. You might have already known them. You might not know any of them. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and drop a subscribe. It really helps my channel and helps me make more for you guys.